What is going on, everybody? Boylan here for Blogs with Boylan Friday, and I hope that you're finally ready to get extreme because that's what we're going to be doing today and talking about because Nightcrawler finally, finally made it into the game. Yes, he's here. The rest of them are not. So the patch, patch 7.6, was pushed back to next week. Maybe next Wednesday. We don't really know. Maybe there's going to be more details in the blog. Uh, what we're going to be talking about after the blog, though, is what that you should be doing with relation to Nightcrawler. We're going to do that here on this video as well. I'm going to tell you exactly what you need to do to get them unlocked today. And it's not going to be that difficult. So if you're ready to go, everybody, then let's boil this down. So today's blog is titled The Extreme Super Showcase. Yes, there's going to be a showcase event for the Extreme X-Men as well. Now, what's interesting about Nightcrawler, of course, is that he's a one-star unlock. And the last time we had that really was Gambit. So that might tell you something. Uh, we don't really know exactly what's going to be, like what his unlock method is going to be necessarily. But it won't be for a little while because next week is Lizard's free-to-play event, which is in Arena payout event like Craven. I'm really surprised that they did like pretty almost two in a row, like in the same patch cycle that they did that. It's really surprising. Usually it's like every, well, once a patch, I guess at least, but for them to double up on that is a little bit surprising. That's the sinister snowstorm here. You get the sinister storm or, uh, or fragments from the arena payout. And then there's going to be a web milestone related to that with battles and raids. Ice school. The crucible is the Alliance based event. That's cosmic crucible. Win or lose with uh, Sinister Six bonus points, I guess, again. So they're really kind of milking the Sinister Six slash Superior Six. Absorbing Man, Extreme X-Men Showcase, which I'm surprised is coming at the same time. But I guess if you have Nightcrawler or on by Monday that you'll be able to engage in that. And then we have an upcoming battle pass with Miss Marvel, Hard Light, and Ghost Rider, all the Secret Defenders, basically. And a Blitz with a Quick Rumble with Infestation. So let's actually check take a look at some of the stuff and the event stuff as well down below. So I'm not going to I'm not going to read this out. You guys know by now, you know, the showcases are for new teams. You're going to need those characters, those new characters. But I think in the beginning that you can use some other characters. I'm wondering if that's what it says down below does say, oh, they actually tell us what we're getting in the test drive. So make sure you do that. Those those early difficulties that usually don't give you anything, but you do get some free. It looks like you're getting free Bishop Storm Beast Psylocke. Colossus and magic shards. I don't know if that's like if that's telling you something that we're going to get reworks for other X-Men with the patch. That's been the rumor that we're going to be getting more X-Men reworks. Maybe some of these characters are getting reworked. That might give you a clue, in which case that would be interesting. Psylocke already is part of Death Seed anyways, uh, but Bishop, Storm and Beast, Bishop and Beast for um, Astonishing X-Men, Storm, Colossus and Magic. It's part of the Uncanny X-Men tag as well. So alongside gold as well. So make sure you do that. Uh, the story mode, though. Extreme X-Men or Secret Defenders. Okay, they made it really easy to do this because Secret Defenders are just amazing. So you won't have any problems doing this if you've been keeping up with the game. Uh, sometimes they use like a weird tag. They've been using Rebirth a lot for uh, other um, other showcases, but this time they're using Secret Defenders, which is fine. I don't need to explain that. Uh, and then there's the chat. Oh, there's four. There's four modes. There's the challenge mode, which you're going to need for gear tier Oh, no, um, it actually doesn't say there's a gear tier requirement for this. Forge is required starting at, at mission number five. So one through four can be done with Nightcrawler. And then you're going to have to use the other characters to kind of progress on that one. And then extreme requires only four yellow stars. This is really surprising, actually. But you probably won't be able to get the final character to do this, though, until like, um, uh, you know, until unless you pay for it, whoever the last character is, if it's Sunspot, you probably have to pay for it because this event will probably go away before they're all unlocked free to play. But I'm surprised that they lowered the bar here at Forced. Oh, wait, there's there even more. Is there five difficulties? Are they doing five difficulties for one thing? Wow, that's insane. OK, so that the good four star for this bonus difficulty is six yellow gear tier 16. OK, they're just I don't know. They're, they're going they're going nuts on this one. The extremely sinister uh, super showcase is coming up. So, yeah, it's going to be on uh, Monday, at least when it starts. It's probably going to last for a month, though. Friday free claim. So this isn't up yet. Uh, this will be available until. So this is not up now, as far as I'm aware. I think the last time I checked, it was not there. It is not there. So it's going to be at 4 p.m. Pacific time. Depending on when you're watching this, it might already be up. So just keep an eye out for that. And you get five free Nightcrawler shards, which is going to be very important 
to what we're going to be talking about later on. So that's very, make sure you grab that because it's very important there. It's going to save you a lot of cores. Sinister Snowdown, Snowstorm. Okay, so this is the Lizard Unlock event. <sighs> at least we get the arena payout chart and the event chart. So we're going to take a look at this because it's going to be really important. So this, some, I'm, I'm glad that they gave this. Thank you, Community Manager Archangel, for putting this up because sometimes this does change. And actually, just by looking at it, it does look like the orb fragments have decreased over previous ranks. We used to get a little bit more, like somewhere between three and four orbs was pretty common. So I'd have to bench this across the Craven event. But I do think just on just by looking at it, that it looks like it's going to be less. Now, in terms of the actual event itself, it is going to be on Monday as well. And it's going to last for it doesn't say, but I think it's seven days. So we're going to take a look at the chart. It does, actually, it's an eight day event. So that's probably why they decrease the amount of orb fragments. So let's zoom in a little bit here. I have this other scene. Actually, where is it? Is it this one? Blue stacks five full screen. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, that's bad. Nope, that's bad. Nope. Okay, I don't know where it is. I, I had a scene, I thought. Nope. Sorry, guys. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I had a scene for tables, and I guess I didn't make it clear enough. I'm going to have to fix that for next time. <laughs> because you guys know. When I do this, my frame does occasionally block things. So my apologies, everyone. So let's take a look, though, at the lizard character shards. 5, 10, 30, 60. Now, I'm assuming that this one is going to be very hard to get down here at milestone 17. We'll have to do the math on that one. But I'm just assuming that we'll probably get to this one here because it's right after the event item. But I'm not sure if we're going to get the other one. So we can expect 30 lizard shards plus the orbs. I think that that sounds like Craven, honestly. So let's see what else is there down below. There's some dark promo credits. What are we missing out on? Some diamond orbs that we're probably not getting to. Uh, this thirty thousand spectacular snowflakes. I'm not sure if that's a really a big deal because, uh, you know, normally we have quite a bit of a surplus. Last month it was a hundred thousand, so this might not actually matter too much. So we'll see. The event video for this is going to be going live on Sunday morning. The event starts on Monday, so I do want to get that out a day in advance. And it looks like we do actually have everything this time which is great. So let's jump back to the blog. There is a web milestone though. So deploy your top squads into raid battles for eight days. Let's take a look. It's probably not going to be that difficult. So points, 10, 10 raid battles. Very easy to do. You're going to get some cold hard cash as well, like all the other milestones, web milestones so far. And uh, 1,500 sinister snowstorm points and times eight. So that should be fine there as well. So we'll take a look at the math some more on a Monday. Uh, let's carry on with the chart though. Ice cold crucible. This is with sinister six. Now, hopefully they did it like last time where there is, it's an event that, uh, you know, you just have to play a battle, which is great. So it is there. My screen is my cam box is everything's blocking it, but, uh, let's see if I can, there we go. You can kind of see in the corner here. It does say cosmic play one cosmic crucible battle. That's what it says. 1000. Uh, it's an Alliance based event though. So keep that in mind. You also get additional points for playing with Sinister Six, five star Sinister Six and seven star Sinister Six. So all of that, I'll, I'll be covering that on Sunday as well, because it makes sense, because the Cosmic Crucible starts Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. This is a three day event, so they got it properly. This is across all three of your Cosmic Crucibles this time. So keep that in mind. Otherwise, it probably doesn't look too much different. Uh, there's actually a Mega Orb in there now. I, I don't remember them ever doing that before. But other than that, it's just more snowflakes. And, you know, it's not too much different there. So let's just jump back to the blog again. We have Infestation, Quick Rumble, of course, and the Season 10 Battle Pass. We talked about that already. And as always, subject to change. But we're not done yet. This is just the blog stuff. Just keep in mind that things could change. And does sometimes. So what I want to talk about next is is Nightcrawler, right? We, we were alluding to this. So you're going to get five free shards later on if you haven't already picked it up. And uh, this is going to be really important and why you need to get him. So easy to do because unlike Gambit, he actually does have a 675 power cores. So why should you do this? There's a couple of reasons, but you should honestly just do this now. Where's his orb actually? It was, it was down here somewhere. You should unlock him because... On Monday, there is going to be the showcase, which you're going to need him to farm some of the other campaign difficulties. And this is going to have a lot of gear that you're going to need, usually including things like uh, teal, uh, teal catalyst, which let me let me tell you, teal health and focus catalyst are very, 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 very important. So getting them unlocked, being able to do these levels and being able to farm this right from the get go, because they've been pushing back when these characters are available free to play. 
Okay, so Nightcrawler is not going to be available free to play likely for at least another two weeks. In fact, I don't have the events table on hand, but it did show for the, the month of December and January. And because Lizard is eight days, it's going to be basically back behind that. And actually, I'm not even sure if it's the next event after Lizard. It might be the event after that one. So you're looking at a good two weeks before you can unlock Nightcrawler free to play. And it's so easy for you to do just now. You only need 10 shards which means you need to pull two of these orbs. And even if you're not even doing that well in arena, you will be able to save up to do this before he goes away in the orbs and definitely probably by Monday. So you don't really need to do a lot of coin for the events right now. It's not really that important. Honestly, I think that this is probably more important because of your cores, which is going to cost you 1350. You know, obviously, if you want to go a little bit further, because we don't know what the events, how many shards we're going to get, etc. If you want to do that, be my guest. But, you know, I don't have a I, ha I have enough to do this, but I don't have a ton as like I would normally have like 10,000 cores. I don't have things like that. So for the purposes of this, we're, because I know that I'm getting the five shards later, I'm only going to be pulling two orbs just now to get. Oh, oh. <laughs> OK, well, we just got ourselves a two star Nightcrawler. I was actually originally intending just to get him to one star, build them up, max him out and see what a one star Nightcrawler can do. But um, well, unfortunately, I pulled a 40. I mean, I guess that's great, right? Because that just. Uh, that was valued of like 4,000, 5,000 power cores. So that was nice. Anyways, you should do what I do and just pull two orbs, get them unlocked with the plus five. And then that way you can start building them now because he's going to be really, really important. Like I don't even need to tell you why he's going to be good. He's going to be the best character of the patch, hands down, in my opinion. He's going to replace Phantom X in Unlimited X-Men. And there's a lot of things that you're going to be able to do just both when the full team comes together for raids, but also just in a hybrid version of him. His kit is insane. We're not here to talk about because there's not enough time to talk about it here in today's video. But he's definitely someone that you want to max out. And that's exactly what I'm doing right now. Uh, I saved up enough gold. I made sure that I had enough gold and enough resources to do this right away. Keep in mind that on Sunday we get the war season payout. So that's going to be another 10, 10 plus million gold, depending on uh, where you rank. So you should have no problems being able to max them out if you've been uh, doing well. Looks like I can't take them to 18. That's unfortunate. Oh, it's because I'm out of tempered Osmia and that sucks. Uh, so I'll have to keep an eye out on that stuff. So there we go. Straight to 17. I wanted to take him straight to 18, but looks like I couldn't do that either. But anyways, he's a character that I know that I'm going to be using in and out of pretty much everywhere. Let's let's get them ranked out. Oh, yeah. P.S. I did pull a seven red star uh, before this video just to see. I pulled two elite seven orbs and I managed to get him maxed out. And actually, we're going to upgrade the, the passive because really that's exactly why you're going. He, he does like everything and more that you're going to want out of someone uh, for to replace Phantom X. Like, OK, so he gains speed up on charge. He gains evade to all X-Men allies, which is already what Phantom X does. Negating the raid stuff uh, on turn flip two negative effects into uh, self into positive in on crit fill speed bar by 10% for self and all extreme X-Men allies, which covers Gambit in Cosmic Crucible and things like that as well. Dodging heals him. He just does so many things. The speed of this character and every ally can only be reduced by slow. So no Emma Frost shenanigans to get ahead. Also, he gives 30% extra health to all regular X-Men allies and 30% more to Gambit. So Gambit's going to get 60%. Everyone else is going to get 30%. He's going to be amazing. I'll upgrade him more later. And uh, this video is not really to talk about him and his kit. It's just to tell you about that you should do this now. It's very important. So I hope that you all unlock Gambit, uh, uh, sorry, Nightcrawler over the weekend. Get them upgraded. You don't have to max them out right away like I just did, but make sure that you have them ready for Monday's Crucible. I think that he's going to be really easy to slide in. And I'm telling you, like even a one, two star Nightcrawler is going to be better than Wet Noodle Phantom X. I'm just telling you that right now. So uh, that's going to be the end of this video. And I hope that you all have a great weekend. There's going to be some more videos to come. There's going to be something else coming out tomorrow, I think. And then on Sunday, we have the Lizard event video and all of that and Cosmic Crucible. I might actually do some Cosmic Crucible videos next Monday. So that's going to be the end of this video. And until next time, stay safe and healthy. And I'll see you all later. Boylan signing out.